Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Y'all say you wanted some bomber building action? Alright, I'm gonna give you some bomber building action. Ten minutes at a time. <laughs> oh, alright, come on people. I got that other side fixed. I shouldn't have used that resin, I knew it was going off. That ain't gonna be my prettiest job, but it's on the inside of the wing. Inside of my stab, so yeah, yeah, this stuff's much better. Just didn't want to waste that resin, but I should have just dumped it. Let it go off. Know what I mean? See, we learned we both learned something out of that one. Lost it. Hot stuff. We all learned something out of that one. When that cup starts to get hot, just take it on out back. I got a concrete pad out there for uh, if, if a cup starts to go off like that, people, get it out of your shop. Get your place set up in advance where you can put this stuff. You don't want to breathe the fumes of it going, because man, that stuff, whenever it goes off in a big cup, that stuff will go off like a volcano, man. <laughs> It'll be bubbling and smoking and crackling. I've never seen one erupt into flames, but I heard it has. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I don't take the chance. Same way with my pastry bags, people. Whenever you're done, you got a little bit left, do not throw them in your trash can. Okay, what I usually do is I throw them over here on my concrete floor. I got a spot or outside or someplace and don't, do not throw them away until the next day. They will get super hot. And uh, the more you got in them, the hotter they get. So I never, even if I use every drop out of it, I do not throw them in my trash can. You know, I ain't so worried about it when I use it all, but. We don't want to burn anything down and say, well, Bob does it. <laughs> you tell him the fireman. Well, Bob does it. Okay, yeah, that works a lot better. I still want to leave this kind of heavy. So you got enough for your peel fly, because your peel fly will absorb it too. But I, have, I still got people asking me what kind of primer I use for my pinholes. Uh, I use urethane primer. Hey, urethane primer is the bomb. I love it. Uh, Tom Cook said he uses epoxy. But it's, uh, it's more money. You know, and I'm kind of building on the budget here. And you know, it's really not that all that much if you buy this. They got this one brand down there. It's a decent brand, too, Nason. But it ends up being, by the time you buy everything, like 170 bucks. But you get two gallons. So really, it's not that expensive. You just got to buy more of it at a time. And I don't know. I, That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> That's my story. But you can't beat that urethane primer. And if you're, you know, over a bad glass wing where you got many pinholes, millions, just mix you up a little Dixie cup with a primer. Don't put no thinner in it. Just your... Your urethane primer has a catalyst. You just put your catalyst and your primer, mix it, 
You can even let it sit on your bench for an hour. Let it kind of thicken up. And then you just pour little bits on there, take your spreader. You know, and spread it around. You still got, you know, it's better to use two coats if you got millions of pinholes. There's just millions. Just do it. And you actually spread it so thin. By the time you get all the way done, it's already dry up here, you know. And it dries fast. Just do that a couple times. And go over it a couple times. Bam. But if you use my glassing method, if you use my glassing method, you will not have them pinholes. I have been glassing planes, people, and I mean a bunch of them for many, many years. Okay? I have built a lot of airplanes. A lot of kits. Some of my own. Sheeted wings. Uh, just you name it, man. I have pretty much built it. I've done a lot of glassing. And I have got my glassing technique really refined. I fought them pinholes for years and years. You know, we'd glass a glass a wing, you know, and uh, next day spray some primer on it and just millions of pinholes. Just millions of you know, and we used to take that spot putty and sit there and putty that whole thing and sand it and still have pinholes and you know three coats of primer later you know you still got pinholes and and you know primer's expensive people it really is and I don't like to you know I got my glassing technique refined enough to where that first coat of primer is almost ready to paint. I mean, then you just hit it with that filler I showed you. You know, just a few places. And uh, it's sanded. And uh, it's dang near ready to paint right there. Bam. Now, if you don't want to wait till I do them rudders, if you go back in my videos, way back to where. Uh, we, I glass that, that's our 71. But I, if, I, if I glass that, you can go back to some of the other videos if you don't want to wait for the next glassing lesson. But I want to make a suggestion. Now, here's the deal. I'm not telling you guys what you should do. This is a, merely a suggestion. Alright? So I hate that when people say, oh man, you need to do this. You need to do that. I don't like. I hate. I don't like that when people do that. But this is a suggestion. I know I got over 400 videos out now. Yeah, we passed that 400. So 400 milestone the other day. But every one of them videos, if you watch every one of them, you will learn something. Look at it as a college course. An airplane building, and uh, it'll stay with you the rest of your life. So, that's my theory on that for you new guys. All you old guys, tell them. Tell them. Just go ahead in them comments. You just tell them. That is what the deal is. I just want to pass this on to other generations, my fellow modelers around the world. <coughs> I don't care where you live. I do not care where you live. If you build airplanes, even if you just like watching someone else build them, you're always welcome in the shop. So just think of this as a college course. Alright. Most of my videos I know I act kind of goofy sometimes. And I just do that for the entertainment value. So we can all have a little fun. Well, we learned how to build an airplane. Okay, so now I got still got some dry spots. But that's the cool thing about this pill ply. 
You can put 